Hello and welcome. I'm Jonathan and I want to show you how to create a family tree using Google Sheets and the diagramming software Wired. In this video, we'll configure Wired to include photos in the family tree. The first thing you'll need is to download Wired. The links in the description of this video will take you to the Wired download page where you can get it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Once you have it downloaded and installed on your system, come back to the YouTube video where you can download a Wired configuration file. Click the link, the file will download. Open up Wired to import the configuration file. In Wired, click Edit, Property Mapper, click the Import button find where you downloaded the file the file will be named photo family tree dot cnfx click open the file has now been added click ok with the configuration file added to wired return to the youtube video to get the link to the google sheet family tree You'll be asked if you want to make a copy to your Google Drive. Click make a copy. And now we have the family tree template ready to add our family information. I just dropped in some family information for a person, a mother and a father and a grandparent and a spouse. The cells highlighted let us know that there's an error that we need to correct. The type column always needs to have a value. When the color disappears, that means the error is resolved. These two cells are highlighted because the names are duplicate. The template's looking for each name to be unique. So let's go ahead and make these names unique. And now we can link the family members together using the parent column. Now this one's highlighted to say that there's an invalid selection made. Use the drop-down to select names that you've entered. The names have to match exactly, so using the drop-down is the best way to do it. We also can add a spouse as a relationship. And in this version of the spreadsheet, we now have a photo column to include an image of our family members. To do that, find a photo on your computer that you want to add. Here I'll press shift and right click and choose copy as path. Go back to Google Sheets and paste the selection. And now the file location and name has been added to the spreadsheet. Download the template as an Excel file. You don't need to have Excel installed on your computer. Wired can work with the Excel file even if you don't have Excel installed on your computer. With the template downloaded, go over to Wired and select Open. Choose your template file which will bring up the MS Excel import dialog. The first thing we want to do is click on the gray box between the rows and the columns to select all the cells. In the edge list area, click adopt. Under column of source ID, click adopt and column A will be selected by default. Next we'll select column B and under the edge list select section, column of target IDs, click adopt. And now our target, our edges are set. Click the nodes tab and again, click the box between the rows and the columns to select all the values in the nodes list section. Click Adopt. And again, under the column of nodes IDs, click Adopt. Now switch over to the Presentation tab. And make sure that you choose the Photo Family Tree configuration file that was imported earlier. I like to use the template undirected polyline. So we'll click OK. Now you can see our nodes and edges and photos have been brought into Wired. 
First, let's configure the layout as a family tree. I like to choose the family always below. And let's add this to the dock. Click the apply changes button. And so now our nodes have been arranged, but the photos are taking up too much space. We'll want to arrange the photos to be much smaller. To do that, we'll go into the tools section, select elements. Under the generals tab, make sure we have checked clear selection first. Next, switch over to the node labels tab and make sure we have used this criteria. On the other tabs, make sure none of them are checked because we only want to use the nodes labels criteria. In the select dropdown, choose index. In the index field, type index number three and then match index is equals to. And let's also add that to the doc. So now we have the select elements menu and the family tree layout menu in our doc. With the select elements selected, click apply. It might be hard to tell, but now all of the images have been selected. What we want to do is go over to the properties view and under icon properties, click the gray area next to icon properties to bring up the label icon properties menu. And what we want to do is set the width to 150 and click OK. And now all the images have been scaled to be 150 in width. Now we have a family tree with photos. You may need to add some other configuration options in the family tree layout menu. For example, the segment after branch I've set to 160. By default, it was shorter. So if your layout doesn't look like this, experiment with the family tree layout options to position the nodes and the images to fit your preference. Hope you enjoy making your family tree with photos. Take care.